The Titans are 5-0. and oh. Right now, the team is 5-0. and oh. Does the Titans remain perfect? And they have an identity, right? They're going to punch you in the face. Derrick Henry's a monster. Here's what the Titans are believing in right now. Us against the world. And that is a scary thing to go up against week after week. I'm a big part of this organization. We're 5-0, oh, playing good team football. No matter what, no matter how the game's going, we don't quit. We stay together. I just told Hill to throw me the ball. Uh, no matter what, just throw it up. Uh, I'll make a play. We know we 5-0. It's hard to win in this league. We appreciate being 5-0, but we don't get too high. We're going to focus on what we need to focus on. Um, enjoy this win and get ready for the Steelers on Monday. Titans Blitz, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance Smith. This is Eddie George back on the show. Glad Good to, to see back. you, my man. Glad to be back, man. Took you got to come hiatus. back to this. Five and oh. I know. I know. You guys went in the room without me. Oh, I, feel, man. I feel like I'm not even invited to the party right now. Well, well it is a party. Let's, it is. let's talk about it. We've got the Blitz Lounge hanging out with us. Guys, good to see y'all. You look happy. What's up? Yeah. 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 That's a happy 5-0 uh, and o Blitz Lounge right there. All right, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you uh, more throughout the show as they react to what we're talking about. Let's kick off this show and do what we do. Uh, you saw the open. We know how happy you are. We know why we're happy. A lot of it's uh, because of this man right here. Congratulations to Derrick Henry, uh, the AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Yes, mm. and... Uh, Derek and Ryan were both the uh, FedEx Air and Ground Players of the Week. It was an all-time all week day. in the NFL. And they deserved it. Great games by Ooh. both guys. Ryan Tannehill played fantastic. Of course, King Henry just continues to have signature run after signature run. I mean, just, just the guy's on fire. He's, this is a really special year to watch him run it the football right now. Very special. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's break it down. Let's uh, do four downs with Eddie. Brought to you by Corson Fire and Security. All right, Eddie, you're back. Good to have you back. Uh, thank you, by the way, to uh, Keith Bullock for filling in. Uh, my Get man, that KB. seat That's warm. Right. That's right. Uh, it's good to see you, Keith. The teammates do. Uh, <laughs> first down, you were talking about it. it, it Henry reigns supreme. Yes, yes. What? It, it, you know, it, very rarely do you, does a running back ever have a chance to have signature runs like this. I mean, a 96-yard run or 94-yard run. Uh, had a 99-yarder last year. Uh, just long run after long run, pounding the football. He is lethal yeah. from anywhere on the field. He's just as dangerous from his own 10-yard line as he is on the opponent's 10-yard line and, and everything in between. And the guy is getting better and better. But what I love about Derrick Henry, I knew he can do this. I know he can run guys over. But he's taken over as the true quintessential leader of this football team. Yes. You heard him say it in the clips. No matter what. No matter what. Good team what. football, and that's what they're doing right now. And they're, they're going as he goes, both with his attitude and his effort and his play. First NFL player uh, in history to have mm -hmm. uh, three 200-yard games in consecutive years. Back that's to back crazy. to back. It's crazy. Uh, crazy. Titans, uh, first time in NFL history we had a 350-yard passer and a 200-yard rusher in a game. Yeah. First time ever. How many games have been played? Uh, and, and the thing about it is, we needed every one of these yards from these guys. Yes. It wasn't just, it wasn't a blowout thing, but no, an overtime. No, it was not. Uh, second down, we're talking about it. I mean, it is Henry, but it's also this guy right here, Tannehill, who keeps delivering uh, scary balance on this team. And Tannehill is uh, in control. Listen, if Derrick Henry is the leading MVP candidate right now mm -hmm. in the NFL after five games, mm -hmm. Tannehill is a close second because he's yeah. playing absolutely great football. If you can go back to the AFC Championship game where they lost in Kansas City, he is not the same player that he is right now. Right. And he's he's not just doing it with play action. Everybody will say, oh, well, Derrick Henry, he has that impact. Yeah. But he went like 22 for 28 for 222 yards without the play action. Right. That's just line up and throw it. We'll line up and throw it. Yeah. Making big plays to – A.J. Brown, nine different receivers, yes. spreading the wealth, very diversified in his portfolio. So yeah. he is really doing his thing, and he's making big plays in big moments. Uh, Tannehill is 30 for 41, 364 yards yes. uh, in this game. Again, yeah, man. needed every one of those yards. Uh, moving on, and the reason we needed every one of those yards, moving on to third down. Look, defense, uh, first half, mm. you know, it's 21-10 in the half. Defense looked good, containing Watson and the Texans, uh, but had a battle late. Listen, this is a, this is a divisional game against, you talk about this against, a lot. Well, against Deshaun Watson. Yeah. They're going to score points. They're going to find a way to, to bounce back. 
their backs were against the wall, one and four, interim coach uh, Romeo Cornell. Yeah. So you knew they were going to have a run, and they made their run. But the Titans, again, they answered the call. They don't get deflated. Yeah. They don't get rattled. They're unnerved, and they just continue to fight through all the adversities and find a way to win. Yeah. You know, even when, they, when the Texans got the momentum back. So you almost expected that. Uh, big hats off. I mean, big plays all over this game. There were huge sacks. There were monster runs. There were big throws. But one of the most crucial plays of the game was this right here, scrambling for a two-point conversion. I don't know if you noticed, that's big Jeff Simmons getting his paws up there and deflecting this thing to keep it from being a nine-point game and out of reach. Bam, right there, Man, Jeff Simmons. I, listen, I said this before, Ooh. too. This guy is going to be a future all-pro, I think a perennial all-pro defensive yeah. tackle. He stays healthy, continues to, 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 to master his craft. And, again, you know, big play right there. Didn't quite get the sack, but he got his hands up and made the biggest play of the game right there. So made the play, absolutely. The we would not be, you know, people talk about should they or shouldn't have. They, they, they did they go did. for it, yeah. and he did that. Uh, we needed every bit of it. And uh, fourth down, uh, this is my favorite part of this game because this is the part I'm involved in the most. Uh, fans, the fans, the energy is there. There may only be 10,000 people in the stands, but, man, I'm telling you, you can feel the energy because people need this during this – Terrible year we've been oh, suffering God. through in COVID. Look, the 10,000 that were there, we needed every one of those voices. And uh, it's, it's fun to hear it and to feel it, man. Yeah, well, I was watching it at home, and I could hear I mean, I, I don't know the pumping sound <laughs> to the system, yeah, but, but. It, it sounded like the energy was there, and everybody was engaged. And, and God willing, if once this pandemic is over and people can come to the games, come back. Yeah. All 60,000 people. Come back, come yeah. back, come back, because we see that this is a really special team having a really special year right now. It really is, yeah. man. It's so special. Uh, I mean, and, and as a player, you know, I, I've talked to Chris Look, Johnson before. He said, I, I played for them. Just hearing those few voices. No question. Listen, I, I played in a stadium when there was literally 7,000 fans right. without a pandemic, okay, right, right. and less. So it's a huge difference. So when we have the fans to feed off of, and you talk about, you know, uh, having a home field advantage. Our first, what, two or three years in, in this stadium, we were undefeated. Did yeah. not lose a single game because of the fans. Yeah. So they're very, now you realize it when this pandemic hit and they're not there. It's energy. So we feed off of that energy. We want to make this a very difficult, hostile place to play yeah, in the NFL. I, I can't wait yeah. until it's hostile again and that loud. Yeah. Uh, and it's scary almost when it's that loud. But just... Just that noise alone, it was, it was so good to hear. All right, you guys know uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to break with our Geico Fast 15. Stick around. Titans Blitz, we'll be right back. Right Blitz Lounge. The magic man with the magic hand to her for the big six. A.J. Brown beats Roby. It's the King Cat. Henry running to the left. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Yo! Yo! Titans win! Yeah, the Blitz Lounge right there. They're Tennessee tough. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Eddie back with you. It's uh, halftime here on the show. Uh, play a lot of games with fans. Got to recently with one uh, Karen there in the Blitz Lounge. But uh, check this out. We had a lot of fun. All right, we're going to play a little Academy of Sports and Outdoors. Beat the clock. Hanging out now with Karen from Spring Hill. Karen, how are you? Awesome. You look awesome. This is the outfit of the decade. Are those driving lenses? Are those prescription? What's the story there? Driving, of course. <laughs> nice you new Titans. <laughs> you look sharp. All right, well, here's how it works. Uh, we're going to put a, uh, an item up on the screen. You're going to bid on it. You have to guess the exact price on it. I'm going to tell you high or low, so we'll dial you in, but we're going to only have 20 seconds on the clock. You ready to play this? I can do this. You can do this. I like that confidence. Duke, tell her what she's bidding on. Great for adding fun to your next outdoor get-together. The Triumph Sports USA Bag Toss Game includes two solid wood playing boards with fold-out legs and eight heavy-duty six-inch square bean bags. The playing boards are locked together for easy transport with a convenient carry handle. 
Okay, Karen, there you go. A little bag toss game. You've got to guess the price. I'll tell you if you're high or low. You've only got 20 seconds, so let's make it fast. You ready? Yes. Time on the clock and go. 75. Higher. 100. Lower. 90. Higher. 92. Higher. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. I believe there's, that's all the numbers between 90 and 100. She's done it. Congratulations, Karen. You just won yourself a $100 gift card to Academy Sports and Outdoors. Well done. I think it was the glasses. Maybe the lay or the hat. I don't know. You look sharp. Thanks, Lance. Tighten up. Tighten up. Yeah, there she is now. Karen, good job. Way to go. Love that. I think, I think it was the glasses. It was the glasses. I think it was the it glasses. I got to get a pair of those. And but the bobblehead. No, she's I got, think it was the she's got all sorts of trinkets and stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> look at that. She's loaded. Love it, Karen. Love it. Thank Love you, you, Karen. <laughs> I, hope, uh, I hope they sent the card already. We got we to gotta make sure checks in the mail. Uh, anyway, hey, we got to talk about there happens to be a big game. I don't know if you guys know this. There's a big game at Nissan Stadium this Sunday. Did you know really? That? I Something about that. undefeateds going at. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. We'll talk about it on the other side. Yeah. Stick around, Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. They're doing Eddie in the Blitz that. Lounge. I like, I like that. that. Welcome like back that. to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Uh, hey, listen, uh, we're talking about the excitement here. Come into the stadium. Check this out. You and nine of your closest friends could be in a suite here this Sunday to watch us play the Steelers in the Titans Sweet Stakes. Get that right, Sweet Stakes. Go to that address, TennesseeTitans.com slash Sweet Stakes to enter to win a chance to hang out in a suite with your... That'd be the sweetest. You, and you no get a steak. Is. Yeah, and a steak. Sweet steak, in the steak, steak. steak. Served by Eddie? Like that. Yeah, You're going to busy? You know what? Maybe. I might. I might. I might. Maybe. Yeah, for small fee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, do this. It's two-minute warning here on the Blitz. So let's talk about keys to victory taking on the Steelers. Hey, we just had our 100th all-time win mm. this Sunday here at Nissan. Yes, 100th all-time win. And what, the last 30 games? Uh, 28, 23, and 21 and 8? Yeah, like so 23 and 8. Yeah, something like that. Uh, doing it at home. Will this be the 101st win, first key to victory? Uh, I say you got to let the front four eat because yeah. I don't see, like, we've been taking on, if you look at the uh, quarterbacks we've been taking on, a lot of mobile quarterbacks, yes. especially Deshaun. Yes. Always got to play for that. Ben's not going anywhere. He's going to sit right in the pocket. You yeah. know where he's going to be. He's older now, but. Ben is also playing, having a career year as well. Yeah. He has a lot of weapons to play with. But you know with Pittsburgh, they are going to pack their run game mm -hmm. and their defense. That's what they believe in through the years, the decades. They run the football. They're going to stop the run. They're yeah. going to bring that. So they look for them to try to run it early so we can really force Ben to throw the football from the pocket and, and put them in long uh, – D downs in terms of third and eight, third and nine, third and ten, um, I think we'll, we can be in a good position and force him into some un uh, into some unforced errors. Especially if we can stop Connor. That's got to be the key. Is Pittsburgh's going to want to do that. Yeah. I think behind us, they're probably ranked the top five in rushing offense in the, in the, uh, in the league. So. It's the number two defense versus us, the number two offense. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be it's going to be a wash. Something's going to give here. Something. It's a 16-round heavyweight fight. Truly. <laughs> yeah. But they have not faced a team as tough as us. I mean, no. we are a, 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 a special, special offense right now. Yes. Uh, and with that, second key – we got to get that ball out early because this defense is going to have their ears yep. pinned back. Yep. They are going to want to obviously stop Derek, uh, but they're going to come after Tannehill. But here's, so. the, but here's the problem. Yeah. You got to pick me. your poison now. Right. Because Tannehill's proven that he can beat teams with his arm. And he's doing it with play action. He's doing it without play action. He's doing it in big moments. He's doing it in small moments. And that only opens up things for Derrick Derek Henry. And that puts so much pressure on a defense to have to make the right run fits every single time for four quarters, mm -hmm. knowing that at any moment this big guy can crack one and go for 90, 50, 20, 10, 5. It yeah. doesn't matter. He, he's going to create damage, collateral damage, on opposing defenses. And I'm, gonna be, I'm curious to see what Tom is going to do and what, what, what part of the game he's going to try to um, – 
trying to take away is it going to be the run game or the pass game. So well, that's just it. Tough. And and so talk about that balance. It's like it really comes down to Arthur Smith and getting that yeah. right combination of the, making Tomlin second listen, guess everything. He has the right combination. I mean, he's got Tannehill through the nine different receivers. He's got four guys that are game threats, big three threats: Derrick Henry, yeah. Johnu Smith, AJ Brown, and Khalif. Khalif uh, Raymond. Khalif right, Raymond. Yeah. So Deep with those four guys and plus some other ancillary parts, mm -hmm. it's it's going to put a lot of pressure on Mike Tomlin's defense. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, and I think the Titans are going to win this one big on this. I like I that. I really you, do. you had said, I remember you said this uh, off camera, uh, we might be exposing them. Perhaps. Oh, yeah. I think we are going to expose them. Mm -hmm. I mean, because if this is the best defense, one of the best defense in the league, we're going to find out just how well prepared they are, just how much stamina they have, mm -hmm. and how much they can withstand the pounding plus the speed and the big play making ability of our, of our guys. Mm -hmm. so we could play small ball and we could play grind it out and we could also uh, hit the home run. Right. So it's going to be interesting. Final <clears throat> point, keep pounding the ball. I mean, it's, ball. it's simple. Uh, I mean, what we're doing is not razzle-dazzle so much. It's just hard-nosed, old-school. I'm going off tackle and I'm coming down your throat. Yeah. Stop. Boom. 250 pounds. And you're going to have to make, as defensive backs, late in the fourth quarter, they're going to make business decisions. Okay, do I want to come up, hit mm -hmm. Derrick Henry high, try to hit him low and snap my neck? <laughs> or I can try to figure it out and, and say, hey, I can try to catch it from behind, which is not doing that either. Uh, hats off right there to that guy, too. Uh, yeah. You know, we talk so much about Derrick Henry. He deserves every bit of that talk. Uh, but hats off to the O-line, the run blocking, and Jeremy McNichols yeah. filling in some big-time, beautiful runs yes. right up the middle. Yes. I, that, that, that offset, you know, the, the, the run styles is really fun to watch. And wait until he really gets into a rhythm during the course of the season. So yeah. it's going to be exciting to see. And it all starts again, all over again, with Pittsburgh coming up this weekend. Every Sunday this season has been like Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you feel that way as Titans fans, but it is. It's it's Christmas morning. 5-0. Every 5-0. Oh. Oh, I got chills. I got chills. <laughs> we'll talk more about this team on the other side. Stick around. we got more Titans Blitz on the other side. We'll be right back. Bring it on the gift. Bring it on the gift. That crowd right there in the Blitz Lounge looking good, y'all. I hope everybody's got pants on. Welcome back to the Titans <laughs> Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It's now uh, overtime here on the show. Uh, back with my man, Eddie. Good to have you back this week, man. Man, good, it's good Missed to be you. back. I know. I was going for a couple weeks with a little hiatus. Had to I got move you, I around. Got you. Keith kept the better. seat warm. Yes, he did. Thank you, Keith Bullock. Uh, but since you are back with us, one of the most prolific running backs in NFL history should be in the Hall of Fame. This man needs a gold jacket. I'll uh, say no more now. Thank but you, Thank you, brother. Uh, no, I'm serious. It's thank serious. You. They don't build them like you anymore. But we got a guy now that we've been talking about all show. Mm -hmm. And if you look back over the course of Titans history, going back to Oilers history, starting with Earl Campbell, there's this – we've been spoiled with the running back mm -hmm. game. Earl, you, yeah. CJ, yeah. Derek, you know, and there's other names in there that we've had really great running backs. But Derek's now at that level, don't you say? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, I mean, I mean now. And we've been watching his maturation since he took over two years ago and really figuring out the type of back that he wanted to be and become. Um, he had to wait his turn with DeMarco Murray. Mm -hmm. he, he was itching to get out there, kind of had a slow start. People kind of doubted his, his ability to be a big time back in this league. And I felt all along, mm -hmm. based off of his opportunities, his size, his stature, his abilities, that he can be an MVP yeah. type caliber guy. He can have 2,000 yards this year. So yeah. I, I think he, he's had what, several long signature runs over the last three seasons that are – that every running back would love their career. Right, he's I a mean, human highlight he's reel. He's a human highlight reel, yeah. and he's only getting better, so absolutely he deserves to be mentioned in that category. And Chris Johnson made a comment, said that we had the best four running backs in history yeah. out of anybody in the NFL. So it was, curious, it was interesting to see all that on Twitter uh, last week, debate Dallas, and you had KC, you had Pittsburgh, and Detroit. Yeah. So it was interesting to see that. But from, from Eddie George's eyes, is, is it that fun to watch? I mean, oh, it's, knowing it's, it you, is fun. It you've is run fun. those same steps in, I, in yeah. the same size. Well, listen, <laughs> we, we're, we you know, myself, Earl, Chris Johnson, we're all uh, bridge builders. We, yeah. we build a bridge to help another young guy come along. So Love it. It's been a blessing, man. Love that. Love this guy. Love you. Thank you for watching. We got to tighten up and keep this party rolling. I want to see us back here next week at 6-0, taking down the Steelers. 
Thank you for watching Titans Blitz. See you next week.